Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Five adults at a desert compound in New Mexico have been arrested by the FBI weeks after a judge received death threats for granting them bail. The two men and three women, residents at a site where 11 starving children and the buried remains of a toddler were found, face conspiracy charges. Child abuse charges against the five were dismissed after a 10-day limit for a hearing was missed by prosecutors. They will now remain in custody pending a hearing in federal court on Tuesday. The charges include unlawful possession of firearms by an illegal immigrant, which carries a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison, and aiding and abetting in the committing of an offense, the FBI said in a statement on Friday. The accused had been under FBI drone surveillance at their remote compound north of Taos since May, according to Taos County Sheriff Jerry Hogger. Police raided the compound near Amalia in early August in the search for a missing three-year-old boy, Abdul Ghani Wahaj. It was then that they discovered the remains of a young boy along with 11 malnourished children, who were reportedly being held at the site. Police also seized at least 11 firearms and a large quantity of ammunition. The boy's father, Siraj Wahaj, is suspected of abducting him from his Georgia home in December and was one of the five arrested. He was detained at the site, along with Lucas Morton, Janie Levile, Hayara Wahaj, and Subhana Wahaj. Protests over bail decision on August 13, Judge Sarah Bacchus granted bail to the five defendants after she said the prosecution had failed to convince her that they were a threat to the community. The prosecution argued that all five adults were dangerous and claimed they had trained the children to use weapons and prepare to carry out school shootings. The state alleges that there was a big plan afoot, but the state hasn't shown to my satisfaction, in clear and convincing evidence, what that plan was, Judge Bacchus said. She ordered that all five must wear ankle monitors and have weekly contact with their lawyers. But her decision was met with protests including an email in which she was called an Islamic terror sympathizer. The Taos County Court building was evacuated briefly on Tuesday after the threats.